Welcome to this War Masters Workshop short. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a while, so um, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to look at uh, what's called an audio exciter or transducer. Now, you may remember uh, some smaller versions of these that we used in one of our War Masters Workshop uh, tutorials to make a um, external sound pickup that would pipe into your, into your head. Uh, those are called bone transducers. But this is a, it's basically a tactile speaker. So this specific model is made by uh, Dayton Auto, or Dayton Audio, I'm sorry. And uh, it's a 4 ohm, 10 watt, so it delivers quite a bit of, uh, of sound uh, with not a, a whole lot of power. Um, this, will, this will work in any range from a, a uh, I would say, a 3 watt amplifier all the way up to a uh, all the way up to 10 watts. When you start getting up to 10 watts, you got to be careful for uh, audio clipping and that kind of thing. But it's it's a really good uh, device for things like voice amplifiers or sound effects boards that you want to um, that you may want to put in your helmet or on in, in on your uh, on your armor kit without actually having a like a speaker where you have to drill holes or you have to have like a way for the sound to escape through. Basically what this does is this speaker coil that's here um, underneath this this tape. This is just a, uh, this are, there's a sticky, a 3M uh, special type of uh, adhesive underneath this. But when you stick this to a hard surface, it turns that surface into the speaker itself. So the sound, um, what it does is it vibrates, this cone vibrates this uh, this um, uh, plastic piece that's in here, and it vibrates it against the material, and you get uh, you get sound coming off of the material itself. So this can actually be stuck really anywhere. As you can see, it's not a very uh, it's not a very thick uh, piece of uh, piece of equipment. It's probably at most uh, half an inch thick. Let's take a quick measurement here, and we'll see exactly how thick it is. I'm, I'm betting it's um, at the most it's half an inch. So I'm going to measure it right from here which is uh, right here at the the, uh, the bottom of the cone where this little 3M paper is. I'm going to measure it from there right to the top of the magnet here and it comes in yeah, right about Right about half, maybe right at half an inch, if not just a just a hair uh, wider than half an inch. So it's not super wide. It will actually fit behind a piece of armor very well. So here's a central chest plate, and as you can see, it'll fit behind that piece of armor. You can uh, cut a hole in your vest, so this will go through your vest and it won't push your armor out. Sort of like uh, like a chest display. If you've got a chest display. But it'll turn this entire piece of armor into a speaker. And we're going to show you how that works. Let me put this one away. We'll show you how that works real fast. And I will have this model down in the description um, and a link to where you can get it. Uh, I got mine from uh, Parts Express. And you can get those from Amazon. They're not uh, very expensive. They're about, I want to say they're maybe $8 each for the 10 watt. You can get them all the way down to 5 watts and 3 watts, and even smaller than that if you want to do the external sound pickups. Um, I would not recommend going uh, below 1 watt because then it gets difficult to power them because it's hard to find an amplifier um, below 1 watt. So we're going to actually test uh, this transducer on multiple... Uh, multiple types of armor, and I've got one here. This is hooked up to a Bluetooth board. And let me turn the Bluetooth board on. Actually, I'm going to turn this over so you hear the sound. I don't know if you can hear that or not. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, I'm going to put my headset close to there so you can actually hear what this sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
now that is that is actually vibrating the table here. So I mean, it, you don't feel it vibrate the table, but that is that sound is coming from the table. It's not really coming from the speaker. You can kind of hear it all over the table. It's, it's really neat. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to test this. Um, I've got my a wireless um, microphone here hooked up, and I've got this thing turned all the way up. So. Let me uh, let me put my uh, my mic down there, my boom mic, so you can hear this. Test, test, one, two, three, test. Test, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, test, one, two, three. Now you probably heard a lot of uh, vibration. And the reason why that is is because I don't have this adhered to the surface. Mainly, we're just checking to see how loud the sound is. Um, let's go ahead and put it on a piece of armor. We're going to do Sentra first, and we're going to see exactly how it sounds coming out of that piece of Sentra armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my boom mic back down, and I'm going to hold the um, transducer here against the Sentra armor, and then I'm going to talk through the wireless mic. So let's see how this sounds. So I can actually hear that pretty well. Um, you can hear it really well coming through, especially with music. So let's we can actually pair this uh, with Bluetooth. So let's see if I can get some music going here. I want to be careful. I don't want to use any. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to use any music that's going to get me flagged. Oh, we can't connect to it because it's in aux mode, AUX mode. So that's fine. Um, it's actually super. It's super loud with music. The music comes through really great. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try an aluminum chest plate. So here's an aluminum chest plate. So let's try it. I'm gonna put my boom mic down so that you can hear it. Alright, so now we're going to try uh, a piece of steel armor. This is way more dense than the uh, Sentra or the aluminum. So I'm just going to set my boom mic down again and we're going to test the, uh, the wireless mic. So you can see that um, out of all three of them, it's the Sentra that actually works the best for this. And I think a lot of that, uh, I think a lot of that is because um, Sentra is porous. It is a foam board, so it's not super dense. So the sound waves have to work 
um, less hard in order to get through it. So I'm going to lean down here. Actually, I'll bring this up, and you can hear in the background. You can hear my uh, my voice coming out of this coming out of this armor plate. It's pretty neat. And you can hook this up, like I said, to any amplifier, any audio amp. It, uh, it it'll work perfect for that. Don't mind the uh, the dis the the vibration distortion. That's simply because it's not adhered to the um, to the central plate. And just to prove that, I'm going to set it down right here on the uh, on the table, and you can hear. it's when it's not adhered like that you don't um it, it's it's got a lot of vibrations it's got a lot of distortion that way so anyway yeah that's uh that's how you would use that to be a voice amp so let's just look at it um transmitting music via bluetooth so if you wanted to do like some bluetooth sound effects or something let's look at that and how we would uh how we would do that maybe using a phone all right, so let's look at how maybe some music or sounds would uh, would sound <clears throat> coming through this transducer, maybe going into coming out of our, our central plate. So I've got this, uh, I've got my phone Bluetoothed into my little mini Bluetooth circuit here, and this is just some royalty-free music, and we're gonna get an advertisement here. No, nope, maybe not. Now this is coming out of the armor plate. So that's exactly what it sounds like. Now remember, this is this is a three watt amplifier built into this, so it's not it's not very very loud. It's not super loud, but that's actually not bad, um, considering <clears throat> this is small enough to fit. I mean, you could fit almost this whole entire thing behind your plate. Now let's try a different, let's try, um, let's try the aluminum and see how it sounds. So it's definitely a bit more muted with the aluminum. So let's try the steel. I'm going to do a replay on that. That's, yep. All right. Whoop. Let me reboot this thing. I need to be careful because I might be shorting this out a little bit here. All right, here we go. So steel is definitely the quietest, which means you would need a much, uh, much better amplifier to get um, some really good sound uh, from a steel, and, and even an aluminum um, chest plate or, or aluminum steel or aluminum armor. And the reason that is is just because how dense 
this you know this substance is steel and aluminum are both much more um, they're much more dense than this you know uh, PVC expanded foam board <laughs> so that's why the central works so much better because it's less dense it's actually got some air pockets in it that will help the sound out um, so I would say if you were going to use um, one of one of these transducers for metal armor definitely um, you're going to need a, at least a five watt amplifier um, to push the sound out well and maybe even a little bit louder than that to do um, to do like a voice amp if you want a really you know somewhat powerful voice amp so anyway so that is our that's our sound exciter that's how it works um, you can put this on any kind of a hard substance and you're going to get a really good uh, sound out of it. You can make yourself a small box that you wear in your belt that looks like maybe an electronics box. You could put it in a backpack and wear the backpack and you don't have to worry about sound uh, holes or putting a mesh in there to cover up the speakers. You can actually put this in your back plate and uh, you know let your back plate be your, your, your sound. There's so many different ways you can make this work with one of these because you don't need uh, you don't need it to push air out. You just need it to vibrate against a surface. So anyway, that's really all I've got for this uh, this short. Um, again, I've put the uh, the description for this specific product and where you can buy it. I've linked it down in the description. So take a look down there. Uh, if you enjoy this this short and my other War Master the Works uh, More Masters Workshop tutorials, please feel free to support me on Patreon. The link is in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. And in the bottom right-hand corner, our friends over at ripperblades.net have given us a 15% uh, off lightsaber blade uh, code that you can use on blades that are uh, over $100. So just use the, the um, promo code that's right there. It's Merck's Ripper, all in caps, on the, uh, the Ripper Blades site there at ripperblades.net. And... Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll take really good care of you. So anyway, thanks for tuning into this short, and we will see you soon in the War Masters Workshop. Have a good one.